Alright, get rid of the fly bitches. We are back with the AJ Styles 2K career mode. I said last episode I was going to up the difficulty to Legend to sort the men out from the boys, but it turns out I already had it on Legendary, so yeah. I guess I'm just too good at this game, so it looks like we're going to go into this main event match, and I'm assuming I'm going to kick Santino's ass as easy as that. I don't want to, this jobber should be taking up any more than a couple of minutes of my time. I'm going to make it an example of Santino. I'm going to test out some new moves on the guy. Then we're going to move on and we're going to demand an Intercontinental Championship match. We're going to say, look, Triple H, you give us that match or I'll kick your ass. It'll be game over for you, son. Right? King, what do you expect to see from and here Santino we go. <laughs> Let's just see what Santino can do in this match. He'll play an imaginary trumpet before undoubtedly destroying the English language and pulling a fake cobra from his tights. Well, so far he's um, all over us at the moment, but we're going to fight back. It's only early days. AJ Styles here coming back with his right hand, but insecurity missed. But nice right there to Santino here, just getting totally stunned by these big hands here. He can't really live with him at the moment. He do though. Fires him off into the turnbuckle on a huge insecurity and Santino's down. The Italian Stallion hasn't got much left here I don't think but he's coming back with jabs. Look at this, it's Balboa. Balboa and Styles standing toe to toe in the middle of the ring here. Who's going to come out on top? And it looks like it's going to be Styles once again. Santino just a joke. This may be the last time we've ever seen him on WWE television. The guy's just a my jobber man, he loses every match he appears in, he can't take him serious. Big power slam by AJ, and you really do feel like the end is near here. AJ going to the top. Oh my gosh! I need Neil's a double axe handle smash there. Yeah, Santino tosses him over the top here, trying to come back. AJ, big maneuver there. And he's going to the top here, Santino, a bit dazed. And he tosses him off the top rope. Can Santino get back in this thing? Can he find an opening? Can Santino do it? No, he can't. Santino just not got a lot in the tank here. He's not got a lot to offer. Offensively, the guy's just not doing too well here. Phenomenal one is really showing him what it's all about. And here we go. It's AJ Styles now heading to the middle rope. Huge moonsault there on Santino, and that might just do it. He's got him. One, and Santino there kicking out at one. Pretty impressive. Thought that might have been enough there to get the... But Santino with a big right hand stop and AJ on his tracks. But then a big tornado DDT, just giving AJ the momentum once again, putting him back in control. And now he's going to the top rope. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. Watch it! What a move that was, what a stomp man, holy shit, that's going to be the end I think for Santino. AJ not looking to mess about here, there's the inverted pile driver. And now the end really is going to be near. AJ's going to go for the Northern Lights suplex into the Brain Buster because I can't find the Styles Clash in this game. So this move is going to have to do it until we find it. And he nails it and that's going to do it. Surely there is no getting up from that. Unless AJ wants to finish him off with something from the top rope. Oh what a manoeuvre that was. A reverse 450 stomp right to the chest and Santino somehow kicking out and what the hell. Santino using superhuman strength there to somehow avoid the defeat there. Santino with the back body drop, AJ hangs on. Big left there to Santino. Santino now. And Santino just getting hanged up on the top rope. What a 450 reverse splash and that's going to do it surely. And Santino kicking out again. What the hell is wrong with this guy? You're just beginning to get pissed off here. Going to the outside now. We're on the ring apron. There's a back suplex right onto it. 
Santino's back got to be in huge pain. His body's red, his head's red. The man's just about dead. And we're going to fire him in the ring here, hopefully get the win now. AJ now going back to the apron. He drops the leg drop in Santino. He just can't, surely he's not going to be able to kick out of this. AJ now ascending to the top turn buckle, but can he get there before Santino gets up? He does. Santino, just got brutalized Santino though, trying to get to his feet once again. He gets knocked down again. Is there anything left for Santino? And he nails the 450 splash and that's going to do it this time, surely. And what the fuck, Santino kicking out again, man, what the hell? What is wrong with this kid? Why can't I beat him? Santino with the reversal into the corner. Santino now trying to get back in this thing, but it's not going to happen. Now, this is surely going to be the end. He's got him on the top rope. He nails the release German suplex and that is surely going to beat Santino. What the fuck? Santino kicking out again, man. What the hell's happening here? Fucking Santino, you piece of shit. Just die. Stay down. Right, this time surely. But no, Santino with the counter, what the hell? Santino go for the suplex, but we reversed it into a neck breaker. And this time, can we do it? Finally, we've done it after the backdrop, man. Finally managed to defeat Santino, but the guy put up some effort there. Look at those, all those amazing moves we delivered, and we just could not get the free count, finally. Simple backdrop done it, but we nailed the 450 splash, we nailed the 450 stomp. We nailed every sort of manoeuvre we had in our arsenal. And Santino kicked out of them all, but finally we've managed Here's to defeat him. Winner. If that hasn't proved that we're ready for a title shot, then I don't know what will. Santino was resilient, but he just could not really mount any offence. And he could not get the job done. He could not get close to defeating us. And we've proved why we're still phenomenal. And there you go, we've got a five-star match. We're up to 88. So if you need their followers, 88k, and we've got a bunch of other shit. And fucking again, I was saying... She will be in touch to see if we get a push or not. And surely we will be getting a push. Because let's be honest, we've been pushing everyone out of our way, out of our path. And we've been moving on through the competition. But we just still can't get a title shot for whatever reason. Not sure why, but I'm getting pissed off. Now you can see John Cena defended his WWE Championship against Big E at Night of Champions. So fucking big... Black Big E can get a title shot, but the phenomenal one AJ can't. It really, WWE, is that what you're telling me? Stinks, man, it's politics. They can't keep us down, they won't keep us down. Next episode, we're going to kick some ass. I've just noticed there's a blue bar there with SmackDown, and I'm assuming that might be, well, as soon as we fill that, we might move to SmackDown. Is that the way it works? Maybe I'm just stupid, but I've just, that's the first time I've noticed that throughout this career mode. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Tune in next time. They probably won't have anything for us. It'll probably be another dark match, something along the lines of that. But until then, guys, I've been Son of Scotland 90. This has been the phenomenal AJ Styles career mode. And peace out.